This is the ultimate beginner's guide to Jazz Lab. Jazz Lab is a program that you can make backing tracks with. It's completely free. I do recommend you give a donation. They usually give you an egg screen. Then it will send you to somewhere where you can give a donation. So I'm going to go Control N and that's going to give us a new template here and you see that this is divided into three main sections that you'd be dealing with. This is where you put your chords, it's the lead sheet. Down here is, um, this is kind of where you put your sections. You'd be dividing your music up into sections. We'll see in a moment once we get into this. And over here is where you have a mixer and we'll be able to do some other things too. Typically when you have a song, you, have a, you might have a, an intro, an A section, a B section, and then an ending. So you can create your chord structure for each one of those sections. This is going to be an exercise that I'm going to use as a backing track. If you double click, you're able to change these chords. I'm going to keep that chord actually. This is one measure and it's set for 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we're going to keep that. And I'm going to push the control key, grab that, and then I can place a second chord and double click on that one. Because I want to put another chord there which is going to be F. So actually it doesn't matter if it's upper or lower case. I put the F there and then I'm going to click on this next bar, double click it, and then you can put another, another chord in right there. So this is going to go to G, right? And then I'm going to do another control, just slide this over. So I want to put a chord in there. You can, incidentally, you can put this anywhere you like. So you can put your anticipations or anything like that. Uh, that's it's really flexible how you how you arrange your chords. I know I'm jumping ahead here, but I just wanted to point out that there are other ways you can input chords which are actually pretty cool. I just found out about these, so let's just add some bars. So I'm right clicking and I say um, insert bars, and here I can just decide how many bars I want to insert. So let's just insert four bars so, so we can play around here. Now, if I want to add chords here, more than one, what I can do is I go A, space, B. So in this case, it spaces them like half notes. Double click here, and let's try this. A, B, C, D. That spaces them like quarter notes. Now, let's try this, if I have enough letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then back to A. It spaces them like eighth notes. So that's very cool, actually. And if I right click, uh, I know this is something we're kind of jumping ahead here, but let's do this. It says play from here. Isn't that cool? Back to the original video. So what I'm going to do right now, I need a G, I need to go back to F. All right, so another, so I'm just going to drag that one over, put another chord in here, F. Okay, so I'm over here on the, on the last bar. I'm going to put in the G7. So I'm just typing G7. For the last chord on this line, I'm going to put a C7. Right. Now this is actually an exercise I'm creating which is going to go through the, the entire circle of fifths, which is, this is a circle of fifths right here. So what I'm going to do here, you notice here there's a little A. That A means section. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to retitle that. Instead of the standard A, B, C, D, you know, use, using those kind of designations for the sections, I'm going to call this, I'm going to call this C. Because I'm going to create one for every um, for every key. So they're actually going to be 12 sections in my case. And there's a the advantage to that is you can decide when you want to play those. Down here in in this section, we're going we're going to get all the sections listed in this area. So we'll just leave that for for the moment. So I'm going to title that section C and notice down here there's a little letter C right there. So that is that is the letter C for that section. Hit the escape key. This is gonna be the end of one section. So I'm gonna right click and it says set end bar. So that's the end bar for that section. What I'm gonna do is, here's a little trick. I'm gonna, so I selected that. I did a shift click on the other end of it. And what I'm gonna do is control C. I'm gonna go down here and control V. 
Now what it's done is actually created another section, right? So I'm going to double click that one. This is not going to be C anymore. This one is going to be F, uppercase F. All right, so we've got the F section. So this is for the key of F. As I was editing this, I realized that it didn't record the part that I wanted to show you. So I've got this uh, second row here. This is, this is another section which I called F and this should be in the key of F. So I've got all of these chords highlighted. What I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna use the scroll wheel. And if you do that, it actually cycles through the notes. So, so I need this to show the key of F, right? So we go to F and it actually changes all of the chords. So what it's done is it's transposed this to F. But you notice here that it shows A sharp, A sharp, should really be B flat in the key of F. Just go up one more and then come down and then it shows flats. This is very cool and a big time saver. So, so now I've got two sections. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna highlight this whole thing. I'm doing the Control C to copy and I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna go Control V. So now I have another copy of what I just did there. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna click on that chord Go to the end chord with the shift and click on that one to select all of those. So now I'm going to do the same thing. And this time I want to go to the key of B flat, which would be the next key going around the circle, actually going, going counterclockwise around the circle of fifths, which would be going around in fourths. This is C, so I actually want B flat. If I scroll one, I want two half steps back, and this is showing the key of B flat. And also for the next section it shows E flat. So this is how I am creating this whole circle of fourths and I'm going to do this for all 12 keys. So this section, double click on that one, this should be E flat. My E, E, B like that. So once again I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this. So I'm copying four sections going down here. I'm going to go paste. And so going around the circle of force, the next key would be A flat. So now I'm going to select that chord right here. So I'm going to select those chords like that. And then again, I'm using the mouse wheel. I'm going to go down, B flat, A flat, right? So I've gone from E flat to A flat. And since I've gone down, then everything is in flats. And we've gone all the way around to B. I'm using Control C. I'm going to go down here, paste that one in there. And then I'm going to select these chords again. And what we need to go from, from B, the next key will be E. Instead of going down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up to B. Now notice there, because, because I scrolled up, when you scroll up, then you get the sharps. If you scroll down, you get the flats. That's really convenient. Oh, actually, I need to go. Uh, we've already got B there. So actually, I, what I need, I need to go up to E. There we go. So E. So this, this takes us all the way around the circle. E, A, D, G. So G is the last key before we get back to C on the circle of fifths. And I'm just going to go through and rename all of these to the to the appropriate key. Okay, so let's go back to where we left off. Here's the power of this. Down here, which I, I believe they call the part view or something like that, I'm gonna call it the section, the section view because this is where you can arrange all your sections. All right, so what I, if I want to take, this one is gonna represent this first line. This one represents the second line and so on right now. So if I wanted to take that first line and make a repeat of that, what I can do is right click and say duplicate. And it's going to create a duplicate of song part, duplicate song parts. Uh, I could actually do it twice if I wanted to. Let's just do that just for, uh, just for fun. All right. So we've now got three copies of that first part. So every time I play do a repeat, I can do a variation of that because it has some built-in variations. So if, if you look at this, these are the name of the variations. The first one was called main A1, A-1, all right? These are reflected up here also on the left. So I could, I could 
I could scroll through, you select this rectangle over here where it says variation. I can scroll through these and you can see them over here too. So you can also go, and this is a pull down menu. So I could go, let's just pick B1. Actually, that's intro. So let, let's, let's, do, uh, let's do A2. All right, so it's main A2 and click another one over here. And I can either do this here, I could go main, let's try, it has an A1, it has a main B1. Let's just listen to that and, and uh, see what it's going to do. So this first line is going to be repeated three times with three variations. Now, how you tell where it is, you see that? Let's move now to the, it's got a black dot. So that's how you can tell where it is on the, on this section organizer here. So now it's brought some strings in or something. So it has some programs already built in, which you can, we, you can play around with. Now it's actually moved to the next section, which I'm going to stop that with the with the space bar. Okay, so now what, what I want to do is instead of having this groove, it says 16 beat um, something, you know, S556. If you click on double click on that, this is what's in here right now. And you'll see it's on it's on Yam Jazz Extended Style. So if you want to hear that. There's a button over here, which is a kind of a speaker and it's got a little cross on it. So that's what that is. So now I'm going to pick some other styles. Here's Lingus Funk. Here's Samba City. All right, I'm going to click stop on that one. Now, where you get the most styles is if you go down to Yam Jazz Standard Styles, and there's there are 173 styles that you can scroll through. But this is this is also organized nicely so that you can order this alphabetically. Let's say I'm looking for a, for a, a samba or as a cha cha there, so I scroll down. Let's see if there's a samba, L M N O P Q R S, or salsa samba, right? So have a listen to that one. There's another one here. Now you can also do this by by the type. You know, it says there's a, it says directory over here, so I can click on that one, and then if I'm looking for for Latin beats, we can go look for Latin, right? So that that allows you to look in the particular particular genre that you're looking in. Now I want to do a, a particularly simple one, I think, because okay, this is kind of a guitar oriented style, so maybe I'll just pick that one. Okay, so, so now we've changed the style. So now if I play this back, Now take a look on the top here because I can I can change the speed of this. I'm going to slow it down. Notice also that it's got some very it's, it's also picked up some variations here. Okay, let's just stop that. Hit the uh, space bar. So that's the variations. I'm going to change this to a different variation just just for fun. So I'm just going to click on that one. And I'm going to scroll. So this is B1. It has a C1 also. So that's the different variations. Now you have another another control here. Uh, there's some other things too. This this is this is one of them that's uh, very very effective. You can control the intensity. Like if you want this to come a little bit stronger the second time, and then let's just exaggerate that. And you can also bring it down which is interesting too. So you, you have a lot of uh, 
flexibility with the dynamics. Let's just have a listen to those. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to boost this up so that we can hear it fast. Okay, we're at 170 right now. Let, let's, let's hear how that sounds. So I'm going to click the stop button. Let's see if that's going to start from there. bit more intense that's basically how to get around now the cool thing about this um, in this version you've you've actually got some chords in here so you have a, you have a whole list of um, I believe you can do uh, let's see you could yeah you have a choice of you have a choice of guitar chords or keyboard chords. So this is this is a nice reference if you're learning keyboard. I I don't play keyboard too well, uh, so this might be good for me. Um, and you got the you got the guitar chords too, which is nice. So you've got closed voice, and you have inversions, and most common. So that's kind of cool. You got you got all these different um, variations or different inversions of the chords. If you don't make a donation to this program, then I think you've got no conscience. The thing is, it's free for everybody. If you can afford to make a donation, then I really suggest that you do. It's such a cool program. And the, another cool thing about this is it runs on Windows, which I'm using here. It runs on a Mac. It runs on Linux. So I hope you found that useful. Give me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more stuff. I'm going to try and put some more tutorials on Jazz Lab. So have fun with Jazz Lab and look forward to seeing you again soon.